to the other books. What of a difference? The way it is said, the evil thought will not come in your mind. The way the words are used, same part of the body can be in a sophisticated way, can be said in a vulgar way. I can't give examples here on the stage. So the person giving sex education should have that knowledge, have that caliber. What you have in the modern system, they are more targeting, it should not be there. No problem. You have a child without marriage, no problem. But you should be aware of it, you should take care of yourself, so they have ifs and buts, no problem. Stay with the person without marriage, don't marry, no problem, easy. Don't like part away, stay for one year or two. Why Muta is also not required? Advancing. You understand, na? So this is the system. Why marry only? Hello, friends. It comes in the paper. So what's happening? That modernization. What is modern? I don't think it's modern. They are getting backward. They are going back to prehistoric time. It's not modern according to me. So since I do agree with you, but there should be a proper system, not the system what is happening in the Western world and what's happening even in Bombay. If you know the statistics, you'll be shocked. I have to quote the old statistics of abroad. 10 years back, 15 years back, that so many percentage of ladies going to school lose their virginity. And university, more than 99%. These are statistics abroad. Bombay, I was shocked. And I told that earlier. Even in Bombay, just led to the same issue of AIDS. There's a conference of AIDS that took place about 3-4 years back. In the conference, the specialist they said, which I yet don't believe, but they said that 70% of the girls, before they pass the school, they lose their virginity in Bombay. Which I say the college, I've extended it to make it a bit more palatable. It's difficult to believe. That was three, four years back. Specialists who have done survey are saying that. In the AIDS conference in Bombay. Topic is AIDS. More than 70%. In Bombay. So what's happened to the society? And here, specialists come and give education in school. That no problem, but use condom. Losing virginity, no problem, but use condom. Educating the children, you know? So what's happened to society? So we have such educationists coming here. They're opening their path for the hellfire. So how to do it in an Islamic manner, yet staying away from the evils of society is an art by itself which we have to create such people giving advice on the Islamic lines and yet being away from the evil of society which is a challenge by itself. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he help us create so therefore we have to create. We may not be able to get the best result initially. Let the first batch go. People tell what's happening. Let the first batch go. May not be the best. I told we'll try and aim the star. You may reach the sun or the moon or the treetop. Treetop bhi poche to next batch inshallah moon pe pochenge. Next batch pochenge inshallah on the sun and then to the star inshallah. But we have to improve the system. And by itself, it's not easy. It's a big task. But inshallah we prayed Allah subhanahu to help us. But in short, there should be a proper Islamic sex education in the school. Hope that answers the question, sister. Sister has a question that the AIDS that are developed. People say it's a new disease. So what's the history? Is it new? Is it old? Why did it come? And can't we have some moral lessons to prevent such disease, even in secondary school, etc.? Sister, as far as it is concerned, in the history, it's very new. In terms of years, it came into existence a couple of decades earlier. But otherwise, a couple of decades earlier is considered new. It's a recent disease. And there are various reasons that people have put forth. Previously, people thought it was homosexuality. Then they said that even heterosexuality causes it. And where he is? Then they came to know that the transfer of blood, how is the disease transmitted? Exact treatment so far, no one has of it. What is the cause they have come to know? Mainly due to sexual act with multiple partners, changing of partners. This is one of the reasons. Alcoholism can be one of the reasons. Drug addiction, sharing of needles can be one of the reasons. There are various reasons. We can take prophylactic care about that. But it is mainly related with sex. Based on that, this, this is there. And India happens to be the second largest country which has the second largest number of people affected with it. And it's right. And within the next few years, it will be number one. India. 
So regarding having such education in your school, yes, abroad they do have. They have classes of sex education for children. Some I would agree, some I would disagree with. What about Islam? Islam also needs sex education in Islam. But the way it's conducted in the Western schools, I disagree with it. They do many things in Western schools because there the situation is different. According to a report in UK, just a couple of weeks back, there's an article that came in the Times of India that in UK, at present, more than 40% of the children that are born, they are born outside the wedlock. Means mothers are giving birth to children more than 40%, they are not married. In 20, 30 years back, the percentage was 20. A few decades earlier, it was negligible. So now society is advancing. And they said by 2012, more than 50% of the children born would be born to mothers who are not married. So you know that the society is getting more and more corrupted. So now they are having sexual education based for these things, which I feel the problem is not in the school, the problem is in the society. So we believe in removing these nonsensical things, whether it be obscenity should be out, pornography. Now why it's increasing? But pornography magazines are increasing, pornographic sites are increasing. There are surveys abroad that more than 80% of the men go to pornographic sites. 20% of the people that go to work, during office time, they go to pornographic sites. These are surveys. 13% of the women during office, huh? If you go into pornography, that is one thing. During office, as is, imagine you are being paid to work and are going to pornographic site. There are offices abroad where they say, if you want to go to pornographic site, okay, go to that room. Special room kept for that. So don't disturb our office work. So now what they are saying, they are getting more clever. You know what they are saying? If you want to go, there is a recreation room. Don't cause a problem in your computer. Recreation room separate. Fine, you can spend half an hour in a day, no problem. So he feels tired, he goes to the recreation room with permission of the company. So if you think this is going to better the community, it is nonsense. Now talking about education in schools. My sister, her daughter was studying in one of the, I don't name that school, one of the very famous schools. And she attended the meeting and there was some expert, a psychologist expert coming to give a talk to the parents. So that expert, one of very popular person in Bombay, was educating, telling the parents that you should realize AIDS is spreading. Talking about AIDS now, AIDS is spreading. So educate your child that use condoms. And everyone is a expert, what advice here? Educating, huh? Parents meeting. Then the question answer started. My sister doing the question answer session, third, fourth, she asked the question, she stood up, and she bombarded the expert. And then instead of telling you should not have sex, you are educating that you should use condoms. What kind of education is this? Instead of saying that don't have sexual intercourse, giving advice. Agar karne ka hai, to condom is karo, AIDS ne hoinga. Use condom, you won't get AIDS. I went to South Africa a few years back. Big hoardings. Condomize yourself to prevent AIDS. They are not saying don't have illicit sex. Have sex, but take care. Use condom, you won't get AIDS. It's spreading in Western countries. It's coming to India also. So instead of saying that don't have illicit sex, don't do adultery, don't do fornication, they're saying do, but take care. You use condom. So this is the education we're going to give to our children. Such education is not required. So I do agree there should be sex education, but on Islamic guidelines. Not the way the Western countries are doing. And if I tell you everything, I cannot tell. I know about the status. What they do in sex education, if I tell you, you say, ka lecture kya kar rahe. What all they teach is nonsense. Un-Islamic. Haram. But what they're saying, Arre, come as come, so, so they're bothered about AIDS, they're not bothered about the Akhara. So the real treatment is kill the germ. Don't give a symptomatic treatment. So they are more bothered about they should not have AIDS rather than all the other wrong things of humanity they're doing. So here we find that the society is going from bad to worse. It's advancing towards the wrong thing. So why it's increasing? Because they're talking freedom of speech, freedom of expression, pornography legalization, prostitution legalization, and you see there, now the World Cup is going on in Germany, 
estimated so many tens of thousands of prostitutes have come there. An article comes, waiting queue, average two hours. People come for World Cup. After the World Cup, they want to enjoy. And Germany has legalized prostitution. Legal, allowed. Eh? So no problem, have to hide and do it. Over demand, two hours after paying money, taking an appointment, two hours in the queue. So what's happening to the world? Modern. So surely there should be education. One thing is there that we should have. Now, one thing is who is there who can educate the child in an Islamic fashion and taking care of all the problems of the present world. That's a big demand. That's a big challenge. Even in our school, when the question came, I said, yes, now the children are growing up, we should have. But who is the person who can give the education is important. Who is that much who is qualified in Islam and in medical science and is speaking to the children, going to that level without going to the obscene level. Like there are things in the Quran, the words Allah uses in the Quran, the Arabic words. You know how you have to explain. You can teach medicine in a nice way, in a vulgar way. You can say the same thing, so the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses verses in the Quran. Compared to the other books, world of a difference. The way it is said, the evil thought will not come in your mind. The way the words are used, same part of the body can be a sophisticated way, can be said in a vulgar way. I can't give examples here on the stage.